this is David. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure AI Search. Azure AI Search is a cloud service from Microsoft that allows you to search structured and unstructured data and documents by content, metadata, keywords, image information, and other properties. It's a very powerful tool, and it's pretty simple to use. I'm going to show you how to do everything through the Azure portal, but you can do the same thing using APIs and SDKs. The steps are really simple. Uh, first, we're going to add some documents to a data store. Uh, then we're going to create this Azure Search service, and we're going to add that docu that data store as a data source to the service. And then we're going to create something called an indexer. An indexer will convert all the data in those documents into a JSON format, and then create an index that we can query against. Uh, we can also add do some post processing to do things like analyze an image and recognize it, or do OCR things like that. Uh, and finally, we're going to actually query using that index. We're going to query our data store and return information about those documents in a filtered or sorted way. All right, first of all, I want to just show you the documents I'm talking about. I've got a bunch of them here. Um, I didn't create these. They were um, actually I downloaded them from this link right here. The folks at Microsoft Learn created them. What I did do is I also turned some of them into images and some of them into text files, and some into PDFs. So if we look at these documents, I'll just look at the Word files first, and you can see that some of them have pictures and some of them just have text. They all have a location and a date, and they have some kind of a review of a coffee shop here. And that review just, it doesn't say whether they like it or not, uh, or it might say it, but it it doesn't have uh, a set way of saying it. In order to figure out whether we like it, a human being would typically have to read this and figure out is that a positive or a negative review. So we can come in here. So I've taken these nine review documents, and some of them have just turned them into text documents. So here, and here so they could read this my indexer can read this or it can read the uh, the word file and one of them i actually turned into a pdf document right here that's over here and um azure search is capable of reading that and then finally a couple of them i've turned into images of text so it had to perform some kind of an OCR. So lots of different types of input, all of which have some review of coffee shops for this coffee chain. All right, so let's get started. What we can do, first thing is to go to the Azure portal right here. And I've already created an Azure storage account. If you want to know how to create an Azure storage account, there's I've actually created have some videos on that episodes 14 and 37 in this series will show you how to do it. But here's my Azure storage. I call it GCast Azure Storage. And if I go down to the containers, I'm going to create a container. I'll just call it reviews. It's a blob container. And I'm going to specify anonymous access. You probably should put some more security than this here, but this isn't a video about security. It's a video about AI search, so I'm trying to simplify as much as possible. Also, in order to do this, you have to set your storage to allow anonymous access. It's a property on the storage account itself. So we have it right here, and then I just want to um, upload some documents into this container right here. So why don't I just open up this and drag all these documents into that right there and click upload and now i've got a bunch of documents word files text files pngs pds and so on available to me in this azure blob storage container uh, so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to create an azure ai search service in the portal so i click that big plus button search for azure ai search here it is right here and then click create this describes what it does but i already know that and i'll put it in the same resource group which i call gcast search rg i'll give the name gcast search that's fine i'll put it in east us because that's where my Documents are, and I want to reduce the latency pricing tier by default standard. You can do this with free. I'm going to do the basic one, the cheapest one that I have to pay for. Just click on select. Everything here can be done with free or basic. Uh, the difference really is 
the the higher the tier, the more you can scale that. And if you scale it, of course, it costs a lot more money. You can see how much it would cost per month. So this one, if I ran it all day, every day for a month, it would be about $75 a month. Um, that's I only want one instance here. So I'll click review and create. And every, the validation passed, so I'll click create. And this only takes a few seconds. It's going to create the search service for me. And in a moment, I should see that it's done. So that's done right here. Let me go to my search service. And I want I need to import some data. And the data I'm import, as you probably guessed, will be the data that I just added to Azure Blob Store. So I click that import data button and I specify as my data source. Azure Blob Storage, and I'll give it a name. I'll call it a Review Data Source. Uh, the data to extract, uh, I can say I just want the uh, metadata or I want the content and the metadata. That's what I want right here. Uh, parsing mode, if I know if everything's in the same structure, it's like it's all JSON, for example, I can tell it that. This is a bunch of different structures, so I want it to use the default. It's going to figure things out. And the connection string here, I could type it in, but it makes it easier. Choose an existing connection. I will just grab this storage account right here. And it also asks me which container I want to use. And there's that reviews container that I just created. I'll click on select, and this added the connection string, which points to the Azure storage account. And down here, it specified the reviews as the container name. And uh, I don't need to do any authentication because I set to non anonymous access. I didn't create any folders here, but if I had grouped these by folders within that container, I could filter it that way. I could also put a description in here, which I won't do. Um, so this, I fill up this tab right here, and you notice the next tabs are disabled. If I click this button right here, then it'll do some validation before enabling the next tab. And it validates it by actually looking at the data because it, it'll know some of the questions to ask. All right, um, so the first thing I do is look at Attach AI services. There are some free ones that are available. These will use some of these Azure AI services that used to be called cognitive services, and those are just available out of the box without really doing anything special. If I wanted to do something custom, um, add some custom models to to add to my search queries, I could do that here. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but hopefully in another video I'll have time to cover that. But I do want to add some enrichments here. So we'll start with the, the name. That boring name, I'll replace it with uh, the review dash skill set. That sounds fine. Uh, how about reviews? So it's more than one. Uh, I definitely want to enable optical character recognition, and then I'll merge all that. Any OCR data will be in this merge content field. That's the source field that I want to look at. That's where all my content is. Um, and then an the enrichment granularity. If I just specify a source field, I get these options here, but I'm going to add specify pages and that gives me a little bit more options on, on here it'll read 5,000 characters at a time and then i can do things like uh I'll look let me look at these things right uh there's I, i've looked at the data already so these documents don't really have any people names they don't have any organization names they do have location names every document has a location name uh, i definitely want the key phrases to pull out of there these are all in english so i don't really care about detecting language but i could do that this also doesn't have any personally identifiable information i'll skip that one i do want to detect sentiment because these are reviews and they're not giving a, a star value they're just providing raw text in english and it has to figure it out is this a positive review is it negative is it mixed and so on and then some of these things have images so i want to look at that and say generate both tags from the images and a caption for each image. And over here on the right, you see there, there'll be a field name in which to store the tags from the image or the caption of the image or the key phrases. I could change that if I want to, but the default is fine for me. I would do save enrichments to a knowledge store, and I do want to select these. I want to do some image projections. And when I do that, it has to have a place to save that information. So I'm going to choose an existing connection. I'm going to put it right back into that same storage account and that same container right here. So I want to do image projection and I want to do save all this stuff in key phrases into these documents, save the document itself and so on. All that things in there. And it knew this, this tells me where the storage account is. This tells me the name of the container to put it in. That was populated automatically when I selected that. I'll click next and go over here to customize target index. And this is where the, the index that's going to create, I'm going to call this one services index. You might want to have different multiple indexes for the same data store, something to think about. Uh, and then 
the important part is down here. You can see that this is the this retrievable column says that when I do a, run a query, this is the information that will be returned. I'll get back the content and I'll get back all of this information like the locations will be pulled out and key phrases. It'll detect the sentiment and uh, because that's one of the Azure AI services, uh, image tags, image caption, all these things are here. I also want to be able to filter on those. And this column over here is filterable. So anything that I'm going to return, I'm going to also specify that you can filter on that column as well. But you could restrict this in some way if you wanted to. I think that's pretty good. And then I'll say it says create an indexer. And here, again, I'll rename this to services indexer. And you have the option for this. I'm just going to run this once, but you do have the option of running it every hour or every day or every whatever. You could say every 120 minutes, but don't start until tomorrow, something like that. I'm It's a demo, so I'm just going to run it one time. But let's say you have a a document store that gets periodically updated. People add, remove, and and change documents. Maybe you want to have this thing periodically updating your index to reflect that. And then under advanced options, I'm not going to change anything under here. This checkbox is uh, nice. It does encode everything. And I think the biggest advantage of that is that you could have spaces in the names of your keys. So um, I'll just leave it as is. I click on submit. And this will create the indexer and also run the indexer. So you see that it, it created the indexer and started to run it here. And if I go down to indexers, I should be able to see that right now. Here it is, and it's in progress. It doesn't really take very long for a small set of documents like that. But if you have you know, millions of documents, it might take a long time. It's done. It's done, done successfully. And it also, if I click on service index, I can see that right here. There it is, success. You can see that um, none were failed. Uh, but if I go back, let's see here, it created an index. And the index is called services-index. I'll click on that, and I'll see that. And this brings up this query explorer here. And with this query explorer, then I can type in a query and the query will be something like search equals location Chicago and I'll run that and here return some JSON so all of the ones where the location is Chicago there's that one here's location is Chicago all these there's nothing some of those were in Seattle but they're not being returned by this query because I specified that but not it's not just the locations being returned there's a score that says how how confident it is that this is actually matching your query um, the content itself the uh, key phrases are pulled out of that. A sentiment, this was apparently a negative review. And sure enough, today I was truly disappointed. Absolutely, some information. Uh, uh, there's the location. This is the next one here. This is also in Chicago. And hopefully this one has the word delicious in it. This is probably, the sentiment is probably positive. Yes, it is. And so on. So I can do that, or maybe I only want to see the negative comments. Let's look at that here and search for them. And you can see that they're sorted, they're actually sorted by the search score. And this one has the word terrible experience. Clearly that's a negative one. If I go down to here, it's getting the same ones multiple times. And the reason is that because some of these are text documents, some of them are, are PDF, some are pings. I created the same document uh, with the same text, but I just, saved it as a PDF or a, or a PNG file and so on. And so now we have what one looks like one, two, three, or three or four of them here that match this criteria. The last thing I want to show you is if I go back to my storage account right here. Some of the things that were created, if I go back into the storage browser, I can see in these blob containers, there's a new blob container created. The indexer created this. And if I look at this right here, there's one of these for each document in this reviews folder. And I look at that and it's just the images that are being created, that are being indexed. And then also in the reviews, I have another folder also for, there's, oh, it looks like about a dozen or so documents. So there's one folder for each one of those documents. And if I open them up, there is this JSON file. And that JSON file is actually what is being indexed off of. So when you run your query, it doesn't have to go and look at the document itself. It can look at this JSON file right here. And in order to see it, I have to download it. So if I just download this and open up that file, 
it should open it up in Visual Studio. Right here. And Visual Studio is kind of nice because it has this formatter. And here you can see there's all the metadata. There's the output from the image recognition. So rather than having to go through that, 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 that process of doing optical character recognition, image analysis, that's only being done once. And the index is just looking at this file. So in this video, I've shown you how to create an Azure AI search service, how to import some documents and how to use an indexer to create an index on those documents and finally how to query the properties the content and the metadata of those documents this is david thank you for watching yeah.